blasting char 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 what is up guys and welcome to the beyond sander channel my name is shanks and today we are on the map westfold in a one-on-one -on -one video commentary of a game which was happening in the bfme one online arena between good and evil we have the gondor player the white hand noldor and his opponent the mortal player rangel so good against evil we like those okay we like those we like those Soldiers taking over the middle camp, that's pretty good. And the Hobbit is going to be sent forward to capture the settlements. On a map like this, you want to always open for barracks because two soldiers are not going to be enough to win you the early game. And you want to not split them up like this. I think that's a big mistake to split up your soldiers. What I like to do here is send my two soldiers to this location and my Hobbit to this location and then capture the farms here with my soldiers, you know. The Hobbit, at the beginning of the game, has an incredible impact. And for that matter, it's better to send him aggressively instead of using him defensively to capture your settlements. It's a 1v1 situation. Orc should be losing this one, no problemo. He has Orc pit opening. He needs more and more Orcs. It's a 1v2 situation here. And he has heal. He needs to use it very, very soon. But the second he will be using heal, which he didn't, um, he didn't use heal actually. I think he's saving this for this soldier. Could have saved this soldier too, by the way. With the heal, a soldier can 1v2 orcs. No problemo. Even with the Eye of Sauron, should be able to 1v2 this. Now he needs to save this soldier. But you need to heal it when one guy is dead. Now he's gonna heal it. That's good. In the meantime, Hobbit is taking over the farms. The Golem is lurking around, but he won't be able to find anything. Golem could be sent to this location to capture the settlement over here. But I think he's looking to pressure some of the soldiers as they're coming out you want to stall the game you want to be buying time and Gollum is good for this Gollum can't win the fight against soldiers but he's faster than them so he can pressure them hit them a bit and whenever they turn to fight you you can disengage and do this over and over again just to delay them before they can make it to your settlement level two soldier pretty scary to me but remember Mordor is still two three untouched lumber mills and with this money he can fill up the bees very quickly double orc pit and Haradrim palace and no stable yet. He's going to demolish the barracks now and go for the stable once he has enough money for this. Aradrims, pretty good against soldiers. Should be one-shotting them. In the formation, they are also very small. Uh, not small. Also small, by the way, but actually very slow. This level 2 soldier is even recovering. This one is going to be able to destroy this Lambert Mill over here. And Gollum actually has not been contrib contributing anything to the early game just yet, okay? But keep in mind that this map is a Mordor map. So Mordor is extremely strong on this map. And once he's able to deal with the soldiers, he should be able to reclaim the settlements and his money will be skyrocketing. Into a point in which he can make multiple Haradrim palaces, he can make Troll Cage, he can rush an Asgul, he can do whatever his heart desires. This level 2 soldier actually putting lots of pressure. There is another one, the Hobbit. Is going to be taken down by the Haradrams in the tower. And these soldiers now without the Hobbit protection will also be dying to the Haradrams. No problemo. Countering, by the way, counter units. Here, Haradrams' specialty is to fight against Swartman. Okay. In the meantime, he's creeping this. That's going to be the first creep of Mordor. But maybe Gondor can actually interfere and stop him from doing this, okay? And one of the win conditions here when you play Gondor against Mordor is Gondor is to deny your opponent to capture these outposts, which are very tanky. And without, without upgrades, you can't destroy them, and Mordor will get free money, and he will put more pressure on you by building orc pits around the outpost, and pressure you non-stop, okay? So as Mordor, you want to get the outpost. As Gondor, you want to deny him from doing that. That's the early game, mid game, in this matchup, on this map. He's going to buy this, and immediately... Put them inside the outpost and they are having like a crazy long range those haradrams and with the haradrams on top of that they should, they should be able to creep both of the creeps no problemo bad trample there holy the you know the haradrams oh my god he killed him whole battalion the haradrams are very unique unit they are only dealing revenge damage when they die when you trample them and they don't die, they also don't deal revenge damage. They are dealing revenge damage upon death. So they die, they take you with them, you know? Creep secured by Mordor. 
Very good map control for Mordor here. Level 2 orcs. Very powerful. The lumber mill is going to be destroyed. Industry has been used. Mordor's money is looking very good. It's going to look much, much better in a bit. He has double outpost control now. He will be buying this one as well. And with double outpost, he has actually triple outpost now. Three outposts out of four, which is super scary. Like, this guy is going to be super rich. The Haradrim slowly but surely killing everything that is coming out of the cave and of the Vork Pit. And he didn't choose to capture this one just yet. These orcs are idle. They should be sent forward to keep pressuring. Bad trample into the soldiers of Rune. Taking lots of revenge damage from this one. And these pikemen are so tanky, by the way. They are so incredible tanky. And for that reason, in order, you need to basically counter them. And one of the best counters to them would be soldiers. Soldiers countering pikemen in this game. But also Faramir and Poromir could do a great job against those soldiers of Rune. Okay. So beautiful map control for Mordor. We like to see it. He's even trying to creep the troll there. Faramir was able to kill the troll. And Gondor will be capturing this one for himself. He has three power points in total. And Gondor will be rushing Gandalf the White. Okay? He needs like 1k to get his Gandalf the White up on the field. But it might be a little bit too late for this one. Because Mordor, by the time Gandalf is finally approaching to the battlefield, will eventually have enough money to get his first Nazgul, or even more than that, his Witch King. Outpost control, rune soldiers taking care of the Haradrim palace, I mean this archer range. One archer will make it out in time, he will be placing them inside the outpost hopefully. But he doesn't and oh my god. Orcs, the, the age of men is over time of the Ark has come. Alright, the Knights of Gondor will be able to save this outpost at least for now. That's not a big problem. And we will have Gandalf the White very soon upon the field. So Gondor has been losing map control, left and right. But maybe Gandalf can be the savior this Mordor is afraid of. He has Gandalf and also the Grey Company. And very soon, we have a Witch King upon the field. He has 6k, he's not gonna go for the Nazgul at this point anymore, knowing that there is a Gandalf upon the field. Witch King is much more resistant to Gandalf's spells, because a Nazgul will die to Easter Light and Warning Arrow combination, but a Witch King won't. Okay, all right. Faramir leveling up, that's good. But unfortunately, he has no Boromir. Boromir would be a better choice here because his level 4 later on is going to be incredibly important and impactful. Because in order to deal with this Nazgûl and Witch King and Mumakirs and Trolls, you don't need armor leadership, you need damage leadership. And the only possible way for Gondor to get this beside this Tichu is Boromir. Because both the heroes, Gandalf and also Faramir, give you armor. Do not come between the Nazgul and his prey. You fool. No man can kill me. Die now. My favorite hero, look at him. Witch King of Ingmar. And the level 4 knight is a goners. Look at the minimap, boys. You see this or not? Like, Gondor is only one farm remaining under his two. But he's three, okay, never mind. Three, three is not bad, but you need more than three. He's going for the market, please. But he's poor, he's so poor, he's broke. Um, there comes the Witch King, the pressuring the well, and forcing the Gondor player to react to this. Offense is the best defense. If you want to keep your opponent busy, you want to put pressure on him. It's going to use Easter Delight on the Witch King, but Witch King is going to finish the well, no problem, getting more power points out of that. He has even Devastation for more money, and the Witch King is going to just fly away and get a bit health back, and he can do what he just did over and over again. And your Knights of Gondor can't be exposed like this anymore. The second Witch King sees them, he will come 
and you can't get away from them either. Uh, from Witch King, because Witch King is so fast, you know? Okay. So, almost 6 power points for... Well, who's this player? For Mordor, and Gondor has 3 power points. So, Eagles could be definitely helpful. You want to kill these units with the Easter Light, which is on cooldown, as, as we are talking. And... Witch King is coming one more time. Easter will be used on him, on him, Witch King. But, but maybe you want to summon the Great Company? Yeah! Okay, now the Witch King is fly away, has to fly away. The Screech won't work if Gandalf is around, because Gandalf has fear immunity for the nearby allied units around him. And that's gonna be the second outpost. So you wanna, that's how you wanna play this matchup. Outpost for outpost. You wanna do it slow, but certain. You wanna take small steps, but safe steps. Most people making the mistake, they go to the base of Mordor, which is super tanky. And Mordor has so much money in the outpost. That's what you want to do. You want to go outpost by outpost, take all of them, and leave only the castle remaining under his control. And that's going to be your last target, okay? Two more power points needed for the eagle. But he's going to siege him very, very soon. He has trolls upon the field and even catapults. Mordor is taking a bath in resources, in money. He's almost seven power points too for the darkness. So he will have eventually a troll cage level two, which he already has. The drummer troll is going to come once he has enough command points. The command points are filled with orcs all over the place. And then his Witch King, Drummer Troll, Eye of Sauron, and Darkness too. That's gonna make the trolls to basically Aragorns with Anduril Sword and Blade Master. Leadership rules everything in this game, boys. Okay, enough power points now for the Darkness. Not enough yet for the... That's a big ouchie, by the way. You don't want to lose this, actually, you know? That's so... Oh, that's ouchie. No more ranges anytime soon. Gennaf is coming. He's going to blast them. But I think it's going to be too late. The knights need to go for a trample. Fast, 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 fast. And the stitch has been destroyed. Level 3, Orc Horde. And chunking. Easter Light. Now, that's going to be maybe it. The Witch King is getting chunk, 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 chunked. But no, he's going to get away. Just barely. Outpost is actually still under attack. The Oryx, you should not underestimate the Oryx. Oryx are actually not weak by all means, okay? Five power points in total for Gondor. And Mordor has eight power points. Didn't choose his darkness just yet. Two trolls guarding those catapults. Killing those Oryx. Was making actually space in the command points for Mordor. Finally, has Drama Troll up on the field. Two of them actually... And four trolls here, two trolls here, and yeah, that's going to be very dangerous. So he's building up the archer range in the base, that's good. But it might be a little bit too late to this, for this one, because you need now, again, three Gondor archers before you can get to recruit the rangers, which are the main damage dealers in the faction of Mordor, Gondor. And catapults are coming too, Gennaf is coming, these trolls have no leadership bonuses, they have no drama troll, that means they are free food for Gandalf. he's gonna easter light them, even darkness won't protect them from Gandalf, you need at least drama troll leadership, because darkness only gives you 33 person armor, and you need the 50 from Drummer. that's what you need to resist this, there comes the lightning sword, he will be missing the uh, troll, archer range has been destroyed, and commitment at the outpost at the bottom side, so the outpost is exposed. There comes the Eagle Special Summon. Eagles will be able to farm lots of power points for Gondor, though. The trolls can't deal with this. The darkness is so powerful, it makes the troll look like they are healing, but they actually don't. Trolls don't heal, guys, okay? That's because of the leadership bonuses which are stacking here. Darkness, Drummer, and Witch King. That's why they are also able to resist so much damage from these Eagles, which are normally a big counter to the trolls but farming power points left and right uh oh they have still time they can hit maybe one more time you need to charge with the witch king very smart move charging to the farm here when you charge you can't be caught by the eagles and with that move the mortar player will be able to save the witch king which could be like a very uh, tiny advantage for Gondor to get the momentum advantage. Like, you get a momentum, which King can be revived for free, yes, but you need to invest four and a half minutes to get him back on the field, which is a long time, long enough for Gondor to take over the map. But luckily, it did not happen. Mordor still fully controlling the, you know, the game, basically. Gondor has one farm outside. That's all Gondor has. Two farms outside with this one. And Mordor is 
No, he can make whatever he wants. His double troll cage, his siege wards at the outpost, he demolished it. Because you don't need siege weapons here. What you need are combos and trolls. You need siege wards only when he has this structure, which he just built, okay? Stormworker into the train archers and keep towers. No, that's not what it's called. It's called battle towers and keep archers, okay? <laughs> My bad. Devil 10 Knight exposed. Oh no. One hit, one hit. Yeah, he's going to kill him and he missed this too. You want to aim it this way, bro. But he missed it. If he would have catched him, this Witch King would be dead, by the way. By the way. Stormworker. Stormworker will force the Mordor to build definitely Siege Works. Now the commitment to the outpost with only one archer inside. You can't defend against this army of trolls. That's not possible. You have in total nine trolls. That's Mordor lead the game. A lead game. If you... Get good early mid game with Mordor. Your lead game is so incredible powerful because you have 500 command points and your trolls cost only 20. So you can make 25 trolls with this much command points, you know? 25 trolls. Can you imagine how deadly this is? Who's going to stop them? Your couple of rangers? Your Gandalf? Who? Who can do this? If you don't even make 25 trolls, let's make you make 10. With two drama trolls, couple of combos, even the 10 trolls with this much leadership, who's going to stop them? And you have also two Nazgûls and a Witch King. You have three flying creatures. And so much diversity too. You can go for the Siege Wars, you can go for the Moonlight Kill Pan, he's going for Triple Siege. Why? Because he can afford it. The Vestation, just to get a bit more money. And the Siege will begin. And all we can say is, where was Gondor when Westfall fell? Gondor is right here. But where is Rohan? Rohan has failed us. Hearing King doesn't care about us. I mean, Gandalf is the only one who can hurt this guy. But again, as long as you can dodge the lightning sword, you don't need to be worried about anything. Mumu Kilpan is going to Easter him, chunk him. But Witch King can keep doing what he's doing. And if Witch King is not enough, there is also a Nazgul. And that your horses can, cannot play the game anymore. And the siege continues, boys. Dominating the map, that's how powerful Mordor is. He was able to catch him with the Lightning Sword, which King has been actually taken down by the Gandalf. A fight we have not been able to see in the films, but a fight we've also just missed in the game because I am a horrible cameraman. I couldn't catch up the action for you boys. So at this point of the game, all Mordor needs to do is play patient. Patience here is the key to victory. Don't rush too much. Don't try to go with your trolls in when there is when there is a stormworker upgraded tower which will hit you like a truck and the best counter to the towers are your catapults they are outranging them and catapults being almost immune to archer damage so only fire damage can hurt them but a basic tower even with the upgrade of the stormworker can't really damage them the map control is what matters, you know? That's what matters, because that's the reason why Gondor is so poor, even with Marketplace. He has like Marketplace in it, but he is so broke. He needs so much more money than that. And for that reason, one farm is definitely not enough. You have level 3 lumber mills all over the place. These mills have not been destroyed since ages. There's a level 2 just built up. This one is going to be destroyed. This settlement, Mordor doesn't even care about. And he has the... Beautiful Wall too. Beautiful Fall is good, but it will just resist maybe five to six more shots. But the result is going to be the same. Eagles are unavoidable. So now we will see if Gondor can magically turn this and defend this. With Eagles, Gandalf and one horse. Beautiful trample right there. Mordor will insta cover. He didn't even die. That's why they have so much leadership. Witch King wasn't even around. Imagine Witch King being around here. I mean, the plan from him, I hope you understand what he's trying to do. He was trying to kill the combos with his horses in Gandalf. It means eagles have nothing to be afraid of, you know? Because if you summon eagles now, when there is like two combos with Drummer Troll leadership and Eye of Sauron, and also darkness available from the spellbook, the eagles will get one-shotted. So you want to find a way to deal with them before you summon your eagles to kill the trolls and catapults. And you want to do this fast because you are about to lose your entire base to the catapults. The position is going to be used. Now, he's making them cheese, but smart move from Mordor. He's giving up the outpost, but doesn't want to give the combos as a food to Gondor. Because his plan is simple, make him follow you, 
and once the combos are exposed you can go ham the well is destroyed the siege works is going crazy the camp can't be done against mordor mordor is a camp denier camp destroyer beautiful trample blasting all the trolls upon the ground that's very good now not many arches remaining upon the field anymore but still enough to one tap the eagles okay Beach king is about to be back very very soon you have time four minutes and the four minutes over there comes the ranger special summon the game and the replay is so much faster when you play the game it's not that fast i'm telling you guys you know <laughs> it's so weird because it feels like it's everything speed up like this but it's in in real life it's not like this if you play the game it's not that fast trust me on that one okay beautiful blast and one of the eagles has been already taken down and even the few remaining arches are what it takes what it's what's enough to kill these eagles no problemo just no problemo eight power points versus 14. the drummer troll has been taken down there are still two more you need to go through the witch king of engmar is back on his fell beast and the outpost has been recaptured gondor with the one and only farm luckily he has blacksmiths level three and they give him a lot of money with the marketplace upgrade and that's the reason why he's still alive you know but he has so much money marketplace is an investment into the lead game and when you play this matchup on this map you want to go heal but now you have two nazgus and a witch king on your on your shadow facts you know how you are trying to play planning to get away from this you have nothing that can shoot besides some of the skinny arches from gondor ganav is definitely exposed and the he's going to now oh nice dodge here with the nazgus not over committing ganav is gonna get in safety but so are the nazgus and the witch king so gondor needs rangers ranger spam you need faramir back in the business why you don't revive him at the first place he's level five he can add so much value to your army boromir only level three and all you need are more and more and more rangers okay that's what you need a whole army of rangers fill up your command points with rangers exclusively because there are so many things you need to destroy you still need like two battalions of knights at bare minimum don't get me wrong because you need some sort of source of damage what is this ranger doing over there don't worry boss i got this or maybe he can oh he was that was dangerous because you could just destroy your own catapult with this you know the rings are gonna be destroyed no problemo they're also invisible around the trees so keep that in mind double pressure from both the sides money is not a problem for mordor he has 16 000, but this is gonna feed lots of power points now for gondor watch this when the oh now the artillery is coming the guy is going to charge 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 screech has been used to scare the army off that's very very good paramia is still not upon the field Easter light will be used and level eight and a half Ganav and AOD unlock from the spell book. Mordor still needs five full power points to unlock his own battle rock. But AOD can win you the fight, but can't win you the game if you have no outpost control. And if you have to use it defensively, which you need to do because you lost already one, two, three, and about to lose the fourth part of your wall as Gondor. In each of these walls, you need to invest 2,000 into to repair. It's a lot of money, and four of them means 8,000. There comes the EOD. An army from Mordor will be taken all down. Trolls don't stand a chance, even though they are mighty creatures, don't get me wrong. The power points are rising now to the sky. That's good. This is the lead game Gondor power, right? You have the best power points in the game in terms of summons. You have eagles, rangers, you can summon also the Rohirrim. And your cloud play can also be very good against those trolls trolls are gonna be dying and mordor still needs four power points almost to unlock his own balrog which can be the game winning move but you don't want to give gondor the chance to get outpost control back because once you give gondor outpost control back he will <coughs> my bad um he will be able to protect them now with rangers inside the outpost with statue around them uh, this is gonna be quite difficult, you know. I think Mordor needs to realize. Okay, I need to make. I need to stop making horses. 
also need to make stop making Mumoi kills. Mumoi kills are my favorite unit of the game, don't get me wrong. They are very powerful, yes, but they are very slow. And what you need here at this point of the game is speed. And for that reason, a Mumoi kill costs you 40 command points. And that's the same amount of command points like two trolls would cost. And trolls can charge, run, non-stop. They can run and catch the archers. Mumoi kills can't do the same. So you want to make like 10 trolls with two drummer troll, make two combos and just go ham. Witch King has been slain, that's like mistakes over mistakes and this can snowball into a massive disaster and we might just see one of the greatest comebacks of the game so far in 2024, okay? Combos exposed, only, never mind, he has like a couple of trolls now, that's good, that's what you need. 17 power points, you want to get there as soon as possible. When you find yourself in a situation like this, all you need to do is take fights, even if they are bad fights, but take fights which, you, which can give you power points, okay? You want to get Balrog way before your opponent can summon the EOD for the second time. This is legit the key to victory in this situation. If he gets to summon the Bal EOD for the second time before you could summon yours for the first time, it's like crazy win condition. Mumma kill! Kill, 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 kill! Farami, use one arrow! Okay, nice, he got away. Actually, with most of the army, did Boromir die? No, he didn't die. Just one arrow this. Okay, he got killed. Boromir almost level 4. That's gonna be a huge thing. The outpost at the bottom side is exposed, but now they will trade outpost. Here for Gondor, very important to demolish this statue and well. Very important. Otherwise, Gond Mordor is gonna get so many power points if you don't demolish them. Watch the power points you will get now. Boom. Watch this. Boom! You see, that's what you need to do. You need to demolish your structures, man. But he was focused at the top side. One moment kill was still able to get out. And only one more power point needed for the Balrog special summon. I know, I also heard the Balrog summon, but I don't care. I don't care. This Mumma kill right there is my hero from now on. GG, well played. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, you know what to do. Subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.